Hey guys, it's Austin Vapes. Today we're going to talk about the mod that I use in the Addy. Well, I've had this mod for say about two weeks now. And I gotta say, the Smock Alien 220 blows my mind. I've tried a lot of mods. This one's so consistent with flavor, with how how long it will last you. I've been running on the same batteries all day. And if you can see, it will focus. It's maybe a quarter down. It's pretty easy maneuver self updating which is amazing upgrading I should say and then the Addy I just got this Addy there you go yeah. and it is a sub ohm Addy 22 millimeter not to be not to be like confused with 24 24 goes with the mod with their mech mod their, which is a hybrid I think that's the next one I'm going to get I'm just rocking 22 gauge fires pretty nicely really evenly I gotta give it to my homeboy that works not works but is sponsored by V God who gave it to me I'm loving it and the way it just the airflow each little hole is airflow and all you have to do is turn and that's it it's simple to use just like the mod all I have to do is take this off and juice by the way the juice I'm using like in my other video seven days selfie Sunday crisp apple I mean all you have to do instead of you know taking off the whole entire cap I just have to take off the little chop cap and it's juice simple as that put the chop cap back on this is in release a smooth vapor it's amazing now, the reason why I'm trying to upload now is I want to get out there. The companies I love, the companies I'm okay with, and the companies I really don't care for. One company that I love, clearly, is Smock. No, a company I do love, but one mod I don't care for from them is the Vapors. I'm sorry, the guillotine, it's, it can't rock the builds I want. It heats up too quickly. That's why soon, within the next couple weeks, you're going to see me doing videos with a brand new... Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep it a secret on what I'm getting. Let's just say, I did mention it early in the video, what company it is. My friend's with them but I'm getting a mech mod and I can't wait for it it's gonna be nice I do have a comp coming up for tricking and I I can't wait it's gonna be a beginner comp I'm a beginner right now if it was a cloud comp I'd be rocking that I'd be winning but I'm just a beginner in tricking so I can't I'm not that good I can push O's I can do jellyfish I can split I can lasso. That's another good one that I learned recently. But so far, I'm not that good. I'll be honest. I'm not a good tricker. But other than that, I'm back to the mod. All it takes, two batteries, even tells you which, which way to put it in inside. Downside, this door is too wiggly. 
way too wiggly without the batteries. Put the batteries in, make sure they're the right way. Put the door in, that's no rattle, nothing at all. Five clicks, bright LED screen, alien, and it's on. It's gonna ask for a new coil, new or old. It's the same coil, so I'm gonna pick old. Just like that, you're raping again. My ohms right now, I'm at 0.18 ohms for this build. It's pretty, it's not a really sub ohm build. I mean, I've had an alien that went down to 0.04 or something, it was crazy wouldn't work on my IPv5 unless I put it in Jules mode and it was all crazy. This is compa compatible with anything I use really. But I'm gonna let you guys go. This is just a start of video to tell you guys who I am, what I do, what mod I use all the time. This is gonna be my constant vapor mod and if you don't see me using this it's probably going to be a review of a new mod or an old one that i've had for a while um until then keep on vaping and i'm out